A mysterious blue spiral was spinning across New Zealand's skies from around 7.20 to 7.30 p.m. local time on Sunday, on June 19, 2022. Its structure was made of blue light. The mysterious glowing swirl, lighted up New Zealand night skies, over parts of South Island. Eyewitnesses, said that the spiral wasn't stationary, it was drifting northwards. South Island residents, in large numbers, shared their photos captured, to social media sites, like Twitter, and Facebook, reporting seeing the eye-catching, phenomenon. According to New Zealand Stuff, Alistair Burns, 34, who runs a stargazing business, on Stewart Island. He said, it was by far, the strangest thing he'd seen in the night sky. He continued, it was absolutely bizarre. It was like a massive spiral. And it very, very slowly, serenely moving north, across the night sky, and then, just sort of dissipating as it went, Burns snapped, a few images of the lights, on long exposure, capturing the spiral from his phone. The stunning photo sent all, onlookers, in awe. Per stuff, Mapua local Augustine Matthews, 54, might have witnessed, the whole process. It looked like a planet or star. It was just a white dot, with a tiny spiral. And within 10 minutes it had traversed, half the sky, and the spiral had grown, three times in size. She added it wasn't blinking, or twinkling, and it was moving fairly fast. So fascinating. Apparently, the blue spiral, moved very, very slow in the sky of Stewart. When it moved to Mapua, located in the north part of South Island, it became white, and moved fairly fast. It seems that its color, and moving speed were also not constant. What is interesting is that, within 10 minutes, we did not find any videos recording the moving spiral, crossing over New Zealand skies, only seeing the stunning photos, from different views. What is the fascinating spiral object? Hi, I am Andrew from X-Sun Systems. A dimension portal? An enormous spiral galaxy? A space-time wormhole? Premonition, from our orbital black hole? Aliens as UFO? Scientists came out to say, no, no, no. According to The Guardian, Professor Richard Easter, a physicist, at Auckland University, called the phenomenon weird but easily explained. Let's check why he said so. Around three hours ago, at 12.27 a.m. East Day time, SpaceX Falcon 9 launched, Global Star FM 15, to low Earth orbit, from Space Launch Complex, 40, at Cape Canavera, L Space Force Station, in Florida. We will check the trajectory, the preset path of the Falcon 9 rocket. It's necessary for us to briefly understand, how compositions of an Space X Falcon 9's work. It is rocket science, but not hard to understand. Falcon 9 is a rocket, that can carry cargo and humans into Earth orbit, even reaching the ISS, International Space Station. The rocket has two stages. The first stage or booster, carries the second stage and payload to a certain altitude. After that, the second stage lifts the payload, to its ultimate destination. Currently, SpaceX only recovers the first stages. Landing the second stage is both harder and less beneficial, so SpaceX abandoned the plan so far. You may ask, what happens to the Falcon 9 second stage, after payload separation? After releasing the payload, the second stage still has some fuel left, to ensure an intentional decay can occur safely. It can conduct a de-orbit burn, immediately back to Earth. SpaceX will purposefully direct the object, down toward the Earth, at a very low angle, so that it burns up in our atmosphere somewhere over the ocean. Depending on the rocket's different trajectory, the second stage, may also be left to decay in low Earth debit, or geosynchronous transfer orbit, or geostationary transfer orbit, GTO, or more possibilities. If we see a mystery spiral in the sky, the scientists may usually describe three situations. Number one, it is the upper stage, that falls towards Earth, as it burns through the atmosphere, after deployment separation. Number two, the upper stage, still burns to boost the payload, to low Earth orbit. Number three, a failure of missile launch. Easter explained, when the propellant, is ejected out the back, you have what's essentially, water and carbon dioxide, that briefly forms a cloud in space, that's illuminated by the sun, the geometry of the satellite's orbit, and also the way that we're sitting, relative to the sun, that combination of things, was just right to produce, these completely wacky looking clouds, that were visible from the South Island. What Easter meant was that, the second stage was still carrying the payload. It is the number two explanation. Easter also mentioned that, the rocket's flight path, would need to be compared to confirm. After I closely checked, 
The detailed trajectory of Global Star FM 15 mission posted on YouTube by SpaceX. Yes, the rocket stage 2 once passed New Zealand while it was still carrying the payload approximately 1 hour and 10 minutes after the liftoff. However, around 2 hours later, the mysterious spiral appeared to South Island residents. From this live stream video, we can also tell that it only took 5 minutes for stage 2 to pass through the whole of New Zealand. However, it was said that the residents witnessed the spiral for around 10 minutes or longer. If we convert all different time zones to Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time Coordinated UTC, we get the timeline involved like this. We know the spiral appeared after the rocket's deployment. Moreover, Stage 2 finished deployment separation above North America. That is why Illinois, Iowa and Missouri captured these images while Stage 2 was separating with a payload. This picture collage by Contact Tour gives us a summary. If we relate the spiral with Stage 2, it took one hour for Stage 2 to drift from North America back to the New Zealand sky. That means the Falcon 9 Stage 2 was venting leftover fuel all the way before it splashed into the Pacific Ocean. That is the number one explanation. The similar shaped spiral image was taken by Peter Horstink, a Dutch pilot, when his aircraft was flying from Amsterdam to Johannesburg around 3.15 am to 3.20 am UTC on January 8, 2018. At that moment, the north of Khartoum, Sudan, showed, as the foreground, the yellow lights in the image. According to Sat Track Cam Leiden blog, the glowing blue spiral was also defined as the Falcon 9 upper stage, depressurizing and venting fuel at the end of its deorbit burn. The rocket took off from the Florida Space Complex at 1 a.m. UTC on January 8, 2018. I cannot find its detailed trajectory because it was for a top secret Zuma payload per Spaceflight Now webpage. So I could not study further on stage two. For the blog, Horstink described that the total size of the phenomena was about three times the diameter of the moon. He observed it for two to three minutes. It was also reported a luminous body spotted in Sudanese capital perplexed the military at around 3.15 a.m. local time. Per Al Arabiya News. That is 1.15 a.m. UTC. Was it possible for a rocket to go to Sudan from Florida within 15 to 20 minutes? It took the Falcon 9 rocket 20 minutes to arrive over the UK from Florida per the live stream of Global Star FM 15. If it was indeed related to Falcon 9, it should be the stage 2 still carrying payload, in terms of time. If we convert all time, involved to UTC, it goes like this. From the timeline, two hours later, the object was shown as this spiral. The Sudan spiral is very similar to the New Zealand one, but with one round less, and arms in the opposite direction, in this picture. This spiral pattern also appeared over an area around two hours after a rocket passed by. Both of them have a very apparent upper part like a kettle lid. Hmm. I am wondering how the upper part was formed, if it was from a rocket stage 2 venting fuel. Elon Musk once said, one of the really tough things is, figuring out what questions to ask. Once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. I have another question, did humans record any spiral before we invent rockets or missiles? I ask this question but it does not mean, I don't believe in science. I just want to explore more. The answer is yes. When I saw this rock art, from the webpage designed by Nethery and Michael Fuller, I was shocked. I had to say, oh, my, god. It is almost the same as the spiral pattern, in the sky in an abstract way. Professor Michael Fuller is a field archaeologist, and he has a variety of interests, including rock art. This rock art is located along the banks of the Mississippi River in Jefferson County, Missouri. The site is situated on private property, and its age is not indicated. I can imagine native Mississippians were so shocked when they saw the spiral in the sky and had a strong urge to carve it on a rock, like current humans who want to share the rare things to social media. From the article by Tom Metcalf, published on Live Science, the spiral patterns that appear prominently in the rock carvings are thought to be a symbol among ancestral Pueblo peoples for the sky or the sun. Do you think the spiral looks like the abstract pattern of the mysterious spiral hung over New Zealand sky? Especially the upper part. However, about 800 years ago, the Pueblo people created the rock carvings 
in the Mesa Verde region of the Southwest, United States, while they lived in cliff dwellings, in the Wild Canyon. What about this spiral? According to Be Outdoors Arizona, this rock art, or petroglyph, found in Spur Cross, was created hundreds of years ago, by the Hohokam people, Native American. Also this, Chukwala Spring, spiral petroglyph, discovered in the remote Chukwala Mountains, Southern California. It could be dated, as far back as, 10,000 years. It also described the upper small part. And this image, posted by Hob. The rock art was made on a Bronze Age carved rock, at least 1,000, maybe 2,000 years ago, located in Northumberland, UK. These rock arts were carved, in different continents on Earth, in different ages. But they drew a similar image, with the similar upper part, looking like the spiral appeared, in the New Zealand sky. Did our ancestors, see the rocket stage 2 or stage 3, hundreds of years ago? Did they see alien spaceships? In ancient time? This image, confirmed by the Sudan military, looks a bit like this rock art, which was discovered in Three River Petroglyph Site, New Mexico. Actually it looks more like the spiral, witnessed in Oklahoma on January 31, 2022. We will talk more about the Oklahoma spiral, in the next video. Please stay tuned. There are over 21,000 petroglyphs, at the Three Rivers Petroglyph Site. They can be dated back to between about 41450 AD, and were created by Hernada Mogul Loan people. From the images posted wandering through time and place, created by Curtis and Peggy McKempson and other websites, we can not only see the spirals, but also, these intriguing geometric circles in this petroglyph site. I have a wild guess that the intriguing geometric circles do look like alien spaceships with lights around. The aliens have been observing humans for a long time. What do you think? Please comment below. Another question, did humans have any written record of the glowing and moving spiral in the sky? The answer is yes. Around 1,600 years ago, a detailed description of the spiral was recorded in the 12th volume of the Book of Jin Dynasty. This book recorded all about astronomy observations, from 265 AD to 420 AD. It narrates, a flying star looks as big as a pot, or like a kettle. It becomes bright and white. After the star is extinguished, the white part goes round like wheels. In ancient China, a Fu looked like this. A Wang can be shaped like this, a kettle. They have an upper part. Does the Fu or Wang shape, look like the New Zealand spiral, or Sudan one? New Zealand spiral image did not always show blue. Look at this, showing almost white. If the New Zealand spiral is indeed, connected to the second stage of Falcon 9, how can we explain the formation of the lit upper part? There are also some doubtful points, as we pointed out, in terms of the appearance time of spirals if we study the trajectory closely. Why was the similar spiral pattern with the kettle lit upper part carved on rocks and in an ancient Chinese astronomy book, in different continents on Earth, in different ages? How can we explain this phenomenon? After the media rushed to report, the New Zealand mysterious spiral, there are lots of people who also don't believe the scientists' explanations. This viewer told his sighting story, after he watched Unexplained Mysteries report, on the New Zealand spiral. He and his brother saw something very similar, in the early 2000s, but they saw it, hanging over one place for hours. If an object can hang over one place, for hours, it must not be a rocket's upper stage, because it cannot be controlled, to stay still, in one place, after deployment separation, or while carrying its payload. Moreover, as of August 12, 2022, SpaceX has already launched 174 rockets, since December 2010, but we only saw the spirals reported for a few times with our so-developed social networks. It means there is no absolute positive correlation, between spirals and rockets. If it is not man-made phenomenon, what is that then? Let's make some more wild guesses as in science fiction. Did space-time dimensions merge at the moment? Did the space dimension balance be disturbed due to the powerful rocket emission? Did a UFO in the other dimension come out, because the aliens were disturbed by the huge energy from the rocket emission? Look, humans are launching lots of rockets recently. If we go out and do some tricks as before, they will not know it is us. They will assume it is because of Elon Musk again. Let's go.
What is your answer? What do you think? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I don't want to make a long video. I divided my research on spirals into three videos. Please stay tuned. X and Systems channel mainly explores wealth, personal, and spiritual growth mainly via stock market investment. We are also interested in topics related to the infinite universe and broad minds. Please support us, subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you. Peace.